Since the absolute value is already solved for in this problem, we're going to set the argument of the absolute value equal to plus or minus 2. One thing to notice is that this will be an OR statement, so there's going to be two solutions to this problem. Now we're going to solve for x in both equations, arbitrarily starting with the left hand side. As you can see, doing some algebra, just get constants to one side, variables to the other. x equals negative 3 on the left hand side. Now doing the same algebra on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and solve for that. And x will end up being 1. And those are both going to be solutions. So the final answer is x equal to negative 3 and 1.